Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Elements Blending Pictures video, we'll be creating this collage here of different model shots. Now, if you enjoy this video, make sure you click that like button and also subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn a lot more about Photoshop, become a real expert, take a look at my complete training, and you'll find a link for that in the YouTube cards and also in the description. Okay, let's get to it. This Photoshop Elements Blending Pictures Collage is made up of four image layers up here. I have a black layer right here which is hidden right now. I use this just to check my edges and then the white background. Okay, pretty straightforward. We'll start off with a brand new file. I'll just close this down and File New. We'll do a blank file in here and I have this set at the default Photoshop Elements size which is 6x4 at 300 and choose OK. There we go. So here's our basic page. We now need to bring our pictures in and I'll use the place command for that. So file, come down to place, and then navigate to the folder where you have your images collected. Now I have several pictures in here of this one model and I'll be using four of these. I have this menu so I can find different facial expressions and I've picked up four that I like for this particular project. Here's our first one right there. Just choose place, bring that in, click the green check mark and that's in position. This is a right hand picture. I know it's over here someplace. We'll adjust the exact spot in just a little bit. Okay, let's bring in the other pictures. Same process. File. Come down to place. And there's the next one right here. Choose place. Click on the green check mark. We can just hide that one. Let's bring in our next one in here. File place. And there's another one right there. Choose place. There we go. Green check mark and hide that. And finally, one more time, place and that one right there. Choose place and there we go. Okay, we now can adjust the size and positions of these. The, this one is kind of the bottom right hand corner over here. So we're going to resize this. Now if you're not seeing your control hands, like I'm not seeing them right now, just use the control plus T keyboard shortcut to bring back in the bounding box and the control handles. And now grab that corner and let's bring this down to approximately the right spot. We don't need to be very critical yet. We'll adjust this more later on. So there's our first picture. Here's our next picture. Notice how we have the white background is in here overlapping. We'll fix that as our next major step in here. So for this one, same thing. Control T, keyboard shortcut to bring up the bounding box. And that's just bring the size down a bit. It should be going up here somewhere. Kind of like that. That's pretty close. Choose OK. And then our final image is the scroll here in the background. Same thing again. The Control T keyboard shortcut in case you're not seeing your bounding box. And then let's just pull the corner in until we get her about the right size and position. So she's about in here someplace. OK, now let's adjust our stacking order on these. I want this girl as a very back layer and right now she's right here. So let's pull her down to the bottom right above the background. Next I want to have this girl in the middle here. Let's grab her, pull her down just above and then the girl right there. Let's pull her down and there's our basic stacking order for the images. We're now going to come in and clean the edges up on these. We get rid of this kind of an overlap stuff in here. There's an overlap right here. Obviously we need to get rid of that. We need to fix this overlap here in this bit over here. You don't have to do the overlaps on areas that aren't going to be overlapping anything, but we'll go ahead and clean everything up just to keep it nice and cleanly processed. So there we are. We're working with a white background. So it's pretty easy to do. And make sure you're on the right layer. Go over to the Magic Wand tool, set it at a fairly low tolerance. I have mine set at 5. And just click in the white area. That will then select that area. Now at this point there are two ways to approach this. One way is just to hit the delete key and that just erases this. I don't like that technique because it limits you on what you can do in the future. So we're going to make us a selection of the image and not the white and then convert that to a layer mask. So let's invert our selection. Go up to select come down to inverse. So the girl is now selected. 
and then hit the layer mask button right there. The engine now has a nice layer mask, cleans the edge up a little bit of a problem right down here. We'll fix that in just a bit. Let's do this first step though. Okay, let's come down to the girl right here, girl in front. That's this one. Same technique. Click into the white area. While you're doing this also, make sure that you're on new selection. Now when we do this, notice that we're losing a lot of the book down. I want to keep some of this book in here, so I want to modify this selection. You can change selection tools. Just go over here and choose a different tool. As long as your selection is going, you can then use different or a combination of selection tools. I'm going to change this actually over to the regular lasso tool right here. And I want to remove some of this from the selection. So I'll click on the remove or subtract button right there. And I'll just do a quick little, little loop right around that part of the book that I don't want to have in that selection. That just takes it out. Do the same thing right in here. Just kind of remove that little bit. So we're keeping some of that book quality in there. Okay, so this is the outside that has been selected. We need to invert this now. Same thing, select, inverse. So now just the girl is selected. And let's click on the layer mask button. Here's our layer mask. And there we are, nice little layer mask on that. Again, there's some little odd stuff on the edges. We'll take care of that, a couple different techniques. Next up, let's get this girl here. Same exact technique, back to the magic wand. Make sure it's sitting on new, which it should be. Click into the white area here. Now in this one, this is only getting just that part. I want to get this in here and this side as well. Let's click over here. But before you make that click, change this to add. So this adds that to that selection. Then click on the intersection here. We've now added that together. Now we can invert this and have just the girl selected. So select and inverse right there. Once again, click on the layer mask button. Here's our layer mask, and there she is, a nice overlap. Now the final girl in the back doesn't need anything because the only thing behind her is just the white background, so we can just leave her as is. No problem with that one. Now, at this point, we probably should bring in a black layer, and I'll show you the while. Come down here to the background, and let's do a new fill layer. Layer, new fill layer, solid color, and choose OK. Now by default it's going to choose the foreground color which already is black and there we go. And that looks OK. You see a little bit of a, a rough edge here. You can really see where your selections are now. I think this is is just fine. We're OK on that. Sometimes when you're using the magic wand you get some little line things happening around the edges and you don't really want to have that. We could have cleaned that up on the layer mask but I think we're just fine at this stage. Okay, so our check is fine, looks good. Now I want to have a little more control on our positioning here. Let's first start off with the top girl up here. Notice that there's a link between the layer mask and the image. So if I move the image, the layer mask moves with it, makes it nice and easy. Now on this, I'll bring it down to the bottom, and then we'll just cut off a little bit of a right-hand side over in there for a nice position. That looks pretty good. On the Bottom girl here, I can take her a bit further to the left hand side, I think maybe over here. Maybe cut off a little bit of the bottom of that book. Put it right there. I just want to get these faces a bit more separation on them. Here's the middle girl, so just bring her down just a bit and over just a bit. So we're doing a nice overlap, but we're not really overlapping on any real critical area. Okay, that takes care of that basic positioning. Last little one here, let's just bring the girl here up just a little bit. So our positioning now is taken care of. Looks pretty nice. I think we're okay on this. I might bring her down just a bit more, this picture right down here, just a little bit further. Just for composition's sake. I want her head not really that even with this girl's head. So I just brought her down just a little bit. We can bring her up just a little bit. Again, just for composition's sake. All right. Looks pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. Bring her in just a bit here. That looks nice. Now we want to soften up the edges where we have overlaps happening. And we want to get rid of these hard edges across the bottom in here. A couple different things going on. Let's do our soft edges first. Go to our top girl up here. And we'll do this with a layer 
style. Make sure you're on the girl side of the picture and not on the layer mask. Look for that light blue outline. Go up to layer, come down to layer style, style settings, and we'll do a glow. And this time we're going to be doing an outer glow. And make sure that the color over here is set to white. If it's not, just click on that little box and drag it up to the upper left hand corner. It should have all F's down here, six F's, and that's a pure white. Now that we have this, we can then increase the size and the opacity. Bring your opacity all the way up. You can see it working right down there. And then bring the size up a bit until just a nice little bit of a glow separating these two images. You don't want much, just about like that. It's just fine. Just got a visual glow on that and choose OK. There we are. Takes care of that. Let's now do this image in front of that image. And that one's this one right here. You can double check by showing and hiding. There we go. Same thing. Back up to layer, layer style, style settings, and glow. There we are, outer glow. And then again, just bring the opacity up and bring the size up until you have a nice little bit of a glow in there separating those two images. If you go too far, it just kind of washes out. You can see that. So don't take it that far. Just have just a little bit of a nice glow in there just to help separate those images. Choose OK. Let's do the same thing now. This girl, this will be the overlap in behind right there. And she's the middle picture here. Layer, come down to layer style, style settings. And once again, glow, outer glow, bring the opacity all the way up. See, there's a bit of the edge showing in there. And let's go ahead now and just bring that up. A little bit of a glow in there. You can see about where it it stops being a, a hard edge glow. and kind of just fades out. Just take it up until you begin to get that fade out happening too much. So right about there just helps us with that separation. And choose OK. Now this is one style on this, kind of a soft edge overlap. If you want, you could do a different style instead. Let me show you with this girl down here. And that's this one. You can bring back up your layer style settings by double clicking on this little FX in there. Brings it back up again. Let's hide the glow and we'll do a stroke. There we go. Instead, on the stroke, again, click on this color box and drag up the left hand corner, make that white. And make sure that the position is set to outside and then you can increase the size here. So this instance we have a hard edge overlap in here or separation instead of a soft edge. It, it depends on, on the style that you want. You know this is a bit more modern looking. This one's a bit softer looking. It really depends on the effect. But you can do either one of these. You also can overlap these styles if you want to. See there's the hard edge with a little bit of that softness in there. But we'll stick with just the soft for this particular project. There we go. And choose OK. So a couple of options there on your overlaps. Now let's take care of these hard edge. We want this to be a soft edge down here so this kind of fades out. We can do that uh, on the layer mask. Now that's this girl here. And click on the layer mask side. Make sure you see that light blue outline. So on the layer mask side. In this case, black is hiding, white is showing. We want to hide a bit of that down here. So let's grab our paintbrush. Make sure black is in the foreground. There's a brush size. Let me just bring this up. I'm going to try about 200 pixels in here. That's a bit too much. Let's come down and try 150. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to go back and forth starting down here and I'll move up until I get that edge just kind of softened up. So I'll start down here and just kind of walk my way up like this back and forth until I have a nice soft edge on that. There we go. Do the exact same trick up here and that's this girl right there. Now we don't have a layer mask on her so you can just go ahead and either paint it right on here or I prefer doing this with a layer mask. Let's go ahead and give her a layer mask just so we can do this one technique. So back to the magic wand. 
click on the white area right there that'll give us the whole outside selected let's invert this so select invert and then new layer mask right there there's our layer mask that gives us that layer mask over here to work with again make sure that the light blue outline is showing go back to the paintbrush and once again now don't worry about these they are on other layers they're not going to be affected so start off low and paint back and forth and just kind of slowly move up until you soften up that edge and there we go there's our nice model shot picture collage here with some blending and overlapping of our images all done here with the layer masks thank you for watching my video I hope you found it useful if you like this video click on the like button below to let others know you can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future I'm frequently uploading new training videos don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com